What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in Jasper, Georgia, the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, and another episode of What's Over My Left Shoulder. No, it's not the Forerunner. No, it's not the FJ. No, it's not the other Forerunner. It's this. And this is a 2013 200 Series Dot 2 Land Cruiser. Uh, for those of you who don't know Dot 2, uh, I'm trying to get my camera positioned here. Uh, I consider the 08 to 11 dot ones, 13 to 15 dot two, and then 16 to the end of the run are the dot threes. At least that's how I refer to them. Uh, nonetheless, onto this car. Uh, this is again a 2013 two owner car. It's got 51 service records on the Carfax showing really good extensive service history. This car does have 228,000 miles on it, uh, but those of you who know me, I'm not afraid of miles when we've got a good price point, a car from the south, and great service history, which this matches all of that. So we'll be going over all that in this video, and uh, this car is going to be priced around $28,000. Um, I haven't decided yet. It'll be advertised here in the next few days, uh, and once we do, it'll be live on the site. Uh, as always, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I love doing these videos. Uh, enjoy all the, all the communication with all of you guys who do reach out via email, uh, calling me, uh, or coming by the dealership. So I appreciate all that and appreciate all your support. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get this thing outside, do our normal thing, do our walk around, do our drive, and then see what we got. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to try something a little bit different here. Most of my videos will start outside, but I'm going to go over the undercarriage on this thing first, uh, and then we'll start it up on a cold start so everybody can hear it, and then we will pull it outside and do our normal deal. So uh, let me get up under this thing and show off what we got. Again, this is a two-owner car. It's from the Plano Grapevine area in Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas. That spare looks to be in good shape. It's definitely dusty. But that's how you want them. Dusty, not rusty. Let me go on the other side of the car where we're not getting reflection. Look at this day. American flag flying tall. 64 degrees. Beautiful day here in Jasper, Georgia. So come down and visit us. All right. So you might ask what that is. That's from detail when they spray all their stuff on it. But as you see, looks really nice under here. All right. CV axles, power steering rack, all looks good. Definitely could use a hard pressure wash under here. Unfortunately, my detailer will not do that. CV axle steering rack look good there. All right, so let's get this cold start going. Two twenty eight, two ninety three on the miles. No warning lights, everything looks great here. Let's 
Sounds like a 5.7. Uh, so one thing I can say, this radiator has been replaced at some point. I uh, don't think that it's factory. Looks like it's an aftermarket radiator. I could be wrong, but it definitely has been replaced. I know that's not an original cap. And clearly this um, upper coolant hose has been replaced as well. And again, a lot of great detailed service history on this car uh, that can all be seen on the Carfax. This car does have factory remote start. I'll go over that towards the end of the video. Hopefully I don't forget. If I do, somebody call me out and tell me to stop forgetting. All right, let's get this bad boy outside. No lights, starting to warm up. Don't mind the porta potty. We do have facilities inside the building. All right. All right, let's see if this video can be less than 40 minutes, start to finish. All right, so here we are. We will start on the front bumper, as always. It's in great condition. It has been painted at some point. So there's not any rock chips, not any damage, nothing like that going on. It looks all in great shape. But again, it has been painted at some point. Whoever did it, the tint is dead on. Not any issues with it matching, it looks great. Headlights are in fantastic condition. No peeling, no clear peeling up here, which is super common. No fading, really nice condition there. Uh, the grill does show a little fading going on here, and I will point out the sections that I'm talking about up here on top of the grill. If you've been looking at these 200s, this is common. This is like a matte, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's it doesn't have clear coat on it, so it fades very easily, but very minor, not anything major, but it's there. Headlight number two. Did you know they say Land Cruiser and the taillights too? Uh, no fading, no clear peeling, everything looks really nice here. The hood on this car is in great shape. Uh, it did have some PPF on the front that I had taken off because it you know, it had PPF like up to here, down on the fenders, which they'll do a lot. The problem is, is when they start to take rocks and things like that over time, dirt gets stuck underneath the PPF and it just looks awful. So I had him take it all off, but you can see there's no uh, visible signs or anything from where it was and the hood's overall in great shape. It does have a few little minor touch up spots. Got a couple here one right here another right here little tiny one right here one right here and I think that was all that I oh yeah one right here outside of that though that's really all you got to complain about on the front of this car so 228,000 miles there's a great shot of the hood there is no paintwork on this car, other than the bumpers. Which I don't really consider that paintwork, but that's just me personally. No dents, no major scratches, nothing like that going on. And I'll come back and do that front wheel here in just a second. So we'll walk along here. Really nice condition. 
the value you get for this car to me is just second to none. Mirrors in uh, great shape. It does have the factory PPF here, but it's not all beat up like the hood was, so I left it. <laughs> Left front wheel. There's your tire tread depth. These are not the best tires. They're Yokohamas. I hate Yokohamas. They don't balance well, and I don't know why people put them on their cars, but that's what it's got. So. A uh, few little spots down the side of the car uh, right here. Very minor little touch-up spots. A few right here on this edge, as you see. You got your Toyo guard on the edges right here. Spot right here, a few spots right here. A couple right here. A couple right here. And there's one right here, right there, on that door. Same thing, you got your PPF running down your door edge, right there. Do you have a scratch right here that's been touched up? You can see where my finger is. And it runs about that length. Stand back a little bit. Coming back at it. It's not very wide, obviously. Uh, but that is there. Uh, but again, 228,000 miles, 10 year old car, normal, uh, normal things here. Rear bumper's in great shape. Nothing really to talk about here. Looks really nice. The lift, the lower part of the gate is in great shape. No damage. A lot of times you'll see damage down here on the bottom. Looks fantastic. Body line's perfect. The upper gate, same thing. Really good shape. Does have a touch-up spot right here. Let's go ahead and check this back out. No damage or anything going here on the lower jam. Storage. And you'll have your toolkit. I'm not going to open the toolkit. Uh, the pictures of the toolkit are on the ad, but everything is there. Everything looks great under here. No rust. Factory seam seal all looks fantastic. All of our jam right here, bumper clips look great. No evidence of any kind of bumping or anything like that going down here. Jams look great up here. Really nice. Stand back a little bit. Back of these seats are in great shape. I'm gonna fold them down real quick. like the LX where they come right up baby really nice condition back here look at the back of that seat fantastic condition all our headliner back here looks great I will note there is a little tiny bit of fraying right here on this third row seat belt. It's not cut or anything, but just a little bit of minor fraying. So here's all our covers that go right here for all of our seats. Got your jack in there, I know that you can see. So we're all complete there as far as being able to lower the spare. Everything looks
looks really nice here. Again, there's no damage, no dents, no major scratches, anything like that going on with this car. Does have, where did I see those spots? Yep, you got a few spots right here. You got one right here. You got one right here on this front door. Very small. And you're not even going to be able to see these, but there's a few little minor scratches. I mean, you can't even see them. They kind of blend in with the clear. I don't know if you can see those or not, but I mean, you stand back this far and you're not seeing it. So, uh, right front wheel. There is a little bit of minor scuffing that happened here, it looks like, and right here likely from a lug wrench and a dummy who doesn't know what he's doing a little bit right here and just a little minor mark right there tire condition again they don't need to be replaced but they're yokohamas so right rear wheel this wheel also has a little bit right here going on has some scuffing rest of that looks good though and I know that I missed this rear wheel so let's hit that and this wheel there's two spots here right there and right there again these tires are in good shape here is where it says Land Cruiser in the taillight for those of you that didn't know. Yeah. All right. Coming up to the roof. It looks great up here. There's no fading, no clear peeling, no none of that. There's no damage back here. Everything looks to be in really nice shape up here on the roof. So door panel. few little minor things right here that I'm sure y'all can see outside of that armrest in good shape pull looks nice top of the door panel looks good we got our window Everything looks really nice in here. It does have a set of uh, weather techs as you can see throughout. These are the floor liner versions. Carpet's in good shape under there. Lumbar looks really nice, or the bottom part of the seat looks really nice here. Our lumbar and the passenger seats in great shape. Same thing with the console over here. Not really anything to talk about. God, this air is freezing. Well, we got a ticket probably from when I had it at Toyota. Uh, here's our owner's manual up here. The Bible is in there, so I'm not going to pull that out for right now. Good up here. Let's keep moving. Rear door panels in great shape. Edges aren't all gouged up or nicked or anything like that. Armrest is in good shape. Our pull looks really nice. Top of the door panel looks really nice. thing I want to hit real quick this dry passenger seat does go forward 
does come back and it does come up and it does recline all right these weather techs they love to do that but jams look really nice kick plates are in good shape since that's sticking up I'll show you under here the carpets in good shape Just getting some shadowing going on there God, the way these aligners fit. All right, anyways, I'll mess with that in a minute. Back of the seat's in good shape. These rear seats look fantastic. Back of the seat looks really nice. Carpet underneath the seat looks nice. A few little minor spots right here on the side of that console. Not anything major, but a few little spots. Man, it's that time of year for heated seats. And we'll toggle through modes. So everything works back here as it should. All our air registers look good. They move, they move, not broken. Top of the console lids in fantastic shape. I'm gonna try to lean up here and get this trying to do this through my phone <sighs> so there's our DVD works as it should folds down as it should all right I'm gonna keep moving and I'm actually going to put these back seats down so that we can show them off door panel it's in good shape armrest looks great top of the door panel not faded do have some little minor marks right here on this trim a few down here not anything crazy though window all right Show off these third rows. I don't know that I've ever seen a third row on any 100 or 200 that's not in good shape. Back of the middle row seats, a few little dents. One, two, three. This material is like a hard foam for those of you who don't know and they will dent. So that's what you're seeing there. Seat coming up. Carpet looks good under there. Seat belts look really new. And this seat back here is in great shape. No wear, no signs of any wear. Carpet looks new under here. Back of the driver's seat. Looking good, looking good. how nice this jam looks and this does not look like a 228,000 mile car all right so door panel in good shape there was some repair work at some point that was done right here doesn't look bad but it's there armrest is good top of the door panel is good 
This window tent, I'm sure you can see it in the shade. There's a few little spots here. That's from people getting out of the car fast and they sling their seatbelt off and it, it hits the window. That's what you see there. Silver trim's in great shape. And we will roll down our window. Again, jams and kick plates, great shape. All the plastic, everything looks really nice. Lumbar, or the bottom of the seat looks really nice. The lumbar is in fantastic shape. And seat goes back. Comes back forward. Reclines. And comes back up. All right, so let me get in here. Let's fire up the cool box. Yep. You can hear it if you want to hear it. Top part of the console. But the center console, all the wood looks really nice up here. Shift knobs in good shape. We don't have any staining going on on here, which the silver trim can get stained up depending on what people spill on it. Heated cooled seats. Cooled. Never been used. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And we'll head over to audio. Well, on uh, how he looked the other day in the inner squad. Go Braves. Game one, Atlanta versus Philadelphia tonight. Let's go. Uh, we'll scroll through some channels. Georgia Bulldog pregame, go dogs. And we'll turn the volume down on the steering wheel. We'll come back up. And um, we've also got Grissom on the roster. That's a that's a nice bat to add here. That's that's All right, uh, we will hit the climate. Freezing. Down to the floor, as you can hear. All right, let's turn that down because it's freezing. Map. Set up. Just all your general options. Info. And then uh, we'll hit it back to audio. So satellite, I don't know if that's active, but obviously it does work. It's not active. Steering wheel's in great shape. None of our plastic is stained or chipped. A lot of times the emblem can peel. No, nothing going on there. All of our buttons are in great shape. Steering wheel comes up, comes back down, and comes out to me, and goes back in. Blinkers, they do work. Hazard lights. Backup camera. Uh, side view. Reverse side view. Back to the backup camera. 
All right, uh, so the mirrors are out. As we see, we're gonna fold them in. Coming back out. All right, and we're gonna move the right mirror down, out, in, and up. Left mirror, down, in, out, up. Good to go there. As we see, our parking sensors are active. Uh, heated steering wheel does come on and it gets super freaking hot. Um, all right, sunroof is tilted up. One touch at that. And we will close it. Cool. Uh, so here we are. Uh, let's. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. All right. Uh, so we are gonna engage four low in the center diff lock. So again, we're in park. We are not in four low. We're gonna go to neutral and we're gonna shift into low. And there we are into low. For those of you that don't know, uh, these uh, 200s can be susceptible to transfer cases, the actuator that shifts from, four, from high to low. Uh, those can stick if they're not cycled monthly. And actually I think Toyota recommends it to be uh, you know, engaged at least once a month, maybe once every other month, but I like to do them when I think about it, you know, multiple times. So, but as we see, we're in low, um, there's all our multi-terrain select, there's our camera view for when, when we do go into low. Uh, we will engage the center diff lock. I'm gonna push the button, you'll see it light up next to the four low. There we go and we will disengage the center diff lock. And we will come back out of low. And there we have it, we're back into high. So yeah, let's uh, take it for a spin and see how she does here. I'll tell you, this thing drives uh, really good. Again, the tires aren't the best. If it were me, I would be putting a set of Michelins or I'd be putting some uh, I'd be putting a lift on it and putting some different wheels and tires on it. Uh, but that's just me. One man's opinion. All right, so we're going to try to do this as quick as possible. But uh, it drives great. No noises, no wheel bearing noises, no brake noises. I actually just had this thing at Cherokee County, or I'm sorry, Marietta Toyota. Uh, where they serviced it. Uh, they did rotors, pads. And I think that was it. They might have done an air filter, actually. Brakes feel great. You know, one thing, if you're not familiar with these cars, you would never know these cars have miles on them unless somebody told you. You know, that's the one thing, even my GX, it's got 250 on it, I wanna say. And, um, you know, that's the one thing you can say about these Toyotas is that they don't, you can't tell that they have those kind of miles on them when they do. They just don't lose their, their quality build. Get the uh, digital speedometer going, my favorite. So again, no wheel bearing noise. Everything works as it should. All right, I'm gonna try to swing this wide. Oh, there's our park assist. So I'm gonna back up to my door right here where we can see that the park assist works as it should. There we go. 
All right, so we're back in here. We'll do one other thing, two other things, no lights, everything looks good there. I'm gonna roll these windows down again. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna walk around it and make sure that all the door lock actuators work. Again, I've explained this in my video, but for those of you who don't know, uh, any of these Toyotas doesn't make a difference what it is. It can be a 4Runner, FJ, doesn't make a difference. Uh, the door lock actuators are known in Toyotas to fail. They're not expensive and they're not a big deal to replace, but they are annoying when they fail. Uh, when they do fail, you will not get any feedback from the car when you go to lock it. It will just lock. You won't hear the Toyota beep, what I call the Toyota beep. On top of that, the doors that do have working uh, lock actuators, they'll be locked, but the door that doesn't, obviously, it's gonna be unlocked. So the way to tell is to lock it, make sure you get some feedback, and then we can walk around the car and make sure all the doors are locked. So we got our feedback, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, that's a problem, because we got the keyless there. But uh, nonetheless, let's refer back, I forgot about that. So on these cars, on the keyless entry, when you walk up to the door handle, the car will sense only on the unlock that you have the key in your pocket and it will unlock it automatically. Uh, it's kind of stupid because on the GXs and LXs, you can swipe your hand and it will lock, but on these, you have to push the button. So um, again, but you wouldn't get any feedback that you just heard, so you rest assured all the door lock actuators work. Uh, the next thing we'll do, I'm gonna cycle the door open real quick is we're gonna show off the factory remote start. We're gonna hit lock three times, and on the third time, we're gonna hold it until we get feedback. There we go. And there you go. But the worst part about the Toyota factory remote start is that as soon as you go up to the car to unlock it, it shuts off. Defeats the purpose, it's stupid. But that's how they roll, so. Uh, but, uh, so that's it guys. Uh, well, it looks like this video is gonna be about four minutes shorter, but nonetheless shorter. So, uh, here we go, 2013 Dot .2 200 series Land Cruiser, uh, 228,000 miles, two owner car, really good. Again, 52 service records on Carfax. That's a lot, being somebody that looks at thousands of car faxes a year that is a lot uh, so it's been serviced very well and again this car is going to be priced around twenty eight thousand, maybe a tad bit more I, I don't know what i have in it so i'll have to determine that when i go to advertise it uh, but uh so this will be online in the next few days so i hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoy this car it's really really nice inside and out does not show the miles one bit as always uh please feel free to reach out anytime to me at chris at hillsonluxury.com. You can call the dealership 678-454-6060 um, or you can reach out on YouTube wherever you're seeing this video. So again, I do appreciate you guys very much. I hope you like and subscribe to my videos uh, so we can keep these things rolling and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you guys and seeing you guys soon.